What's up, YouTube? Back again with another gun video. This one right here is going to be on 22s and 25s and little mouse guns. Now, I get a lot of comments all the time talking about these little guns whenever I post them. They always say things like, man, you can't hit nothing with that. Or, man, if you shoot somebody with that, it's just going to make them mad. I get a lot of comments like that. And a lot of times, folks will say that they would carry a 22 long rifle before they would a 25 because a 25 is so weak. You can look it up. Well, to them, I say... Watch this video because we're going to do some talking about it. So we're going to shoot some ballistics gel today. I got some ballistics gel right here. Listen to that thing slap. I got another gun we're going to be using. This little clerk's first right here. This is going to be the 22 long rifle. And I'm going to get into the reason why we're using all these guns in just a second. Stay tuned for this video. I'm going to do a bunch of shooting in it. I'm going to show you all these guns up close, and we're going to do a little bit more talking about them and kind of explain why I like the 25 so much and why it matters what your pistol length is. Let's get into this video. <laughs> all right, you two, we're back. These are the two bullets right here. This is a 22 long rifle. Most of y'all are familiar with this. This is a 40 grain bullet, but going about 1,200 foot per second. This is probably the most common caliber bought right here. It's cheap, inexpensive, and has no kick to it hardly at all. So you can't go wrong with a 22. This is the 25. A lot of folks say this is an underpowered cartridge, and a lot of folks think it's actually a bigger and more powerful cartridge than the 22, which isn't all necessarily true. It is a little bit bigger. The bullet diameter is a little bit bigger on the 25, not by much, just by a few millimeters. But the 25 wasn't designed by John Browning to be uh, more powerful than the 22. It was designed to be more reliable in small pistols like this. This is a Bauer. I call this the noisy cricket. This is the 25 right here. This is modeled after John Browning's baby Browning and his 25. The only difference in this and in his is whenever you tear this one down, you rotate the barrel the opposite way that you do on the Browning. But other than that, they're pretty much an identical copy right here. These little pistols, whenever you put 22 long rifle in them, here, let me set this back. All these guns are empty, by the way. Whenever you get down in small, small pistols like that with these calibers, like this 22, a lot of times they have feeding issues. They don't want to work right. They don't want to feed good because it's rim fired. If you look right here on the rim, it's it's got a rimmed cartridge. So it fires right there on the rim. The 25 is a center fire cartridge like most of your rifles and pistol calibers now. John Browning made this 25 not to be more powerful, but more reliable. That's why he took that primer there. He wanted to find the smallest case that he could fit a primer in and make a bullet for it so it would be more reliable than this 22. Now, a lot of folks on here say that these 22 long rifles have better ballistics than these 25s. Let me tell you why. This right here is my Ruger 10-22. Most everybody on this video is probably familiar with the Ruger 1022. This is a very common 22 platform, and it's very reliable, and I love it a lot, man. My papa got me this in 94 when I was five years old, and I really do love this gun. I've killed everything you can think of with this thing, man. Hunted all my life with it. This is a great gun. A lot of times when they're doing these ballistic gel tests with these rounds, they're using these 16-inch barrels. On just about every round they're testing, they use a 16-inch barrel. Now, the advantage that the 22 has over the 25 is that I ain't never seen no 25 rifle. I ain't saying they ain't got them, but I sure ain't never seen one. If I did see one, I'd buy it, but I don't think they make a 25 auto rifle. So the disadvantage that the 25 has is that it's coming out of a little short barrel like this right here. This is like a little two and a quarter inch barrel right here. Maybe only a two inch. This is very, very short barrel. I ain't got no time to build up no velocity out of it because the barrel length is so short. This, look at this barrel length. This is about a 16 inch barrel. Think of how much more velocity and build up the 22 long rifle has coming out of this long barrel. Coming out of this short barrel right here, it's gonna blow all the powder at the end for it has time to really build up. That's why the 22 long rifle has a better advantage on these ballistic gel tests. I have ballistic gel here today. We're gonna to be firing our 22 long rifle out of this little clerk's first right here. And for anybody says, well, that's a revolver, all the other ones are semi-autos and whatnot, and that's not a fair comparison. The reason why I'm using this one right here is because it has a two inch barrel. I know you might say I lose a little bit in between the pistol gap right there and it might be so, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to matter on this test. What really matters on this test to me is the barrel length. That's why we're using this one right here. This is a cheap little pistol. My friend gave it to me to use on this video. Big shout out Peyton, man. Thank you, Papa. I appreciate you a whole lot. 
I'm gonna use this one for the barrel length for the 22 long rifle. Just for fun, I brought this 22 short right here. This is a 22 caliber bullet in a shortened down case. This is the smallest ammunition that I own right here as far as bullet and case. This is the smallest one I own. I also brought it for the uh, jail. The only problem is I have hollow points for this one. All the other ones are going to be full metal jackets. But I'm trying to give this 22 short the best chance it has. I'm also going to be shooting it in the jail too. So we're going to be shooting the 22 short, the 22 long rifle, and the 25. Let's put them on the ballistics jail. When we get done with that, we're going to shoot them through some blocks of wood. We're going to see what the penetration looks like there. And then after that, the last thing on the video is we're going to back up. We're going to shoot it through some fiberglass. And we're going to see how far we can get back if the bullet comes out flipping, which is called keyholing, or if the bullet stays straight and punches through the fiberglass. I got a good story about that later. Let's get into some shooting. All right, YouTube. Here we go right here. I reckon you can hear that train over yonder, but we're still going to do this video. This right here is the Astra Cub. I really like this gun. This one right here was made in Spain. They quit shipping these in because the Gun Control Act of 68. That was one of the reasons why you couldn't get this one right here from Browning no more shipped in. And they started making them over here in America, making them Frasers and stuff like that because the Gun Control Act banned the import of these little guns like this. That's why Raven and uh, Jennings and all the other little gun companies took over over here in America and burned out in a couple years did their little ring of fire guns. This right here is an actual Astra Cub from Spain. This is what we're going to be using in the 22 short. Once again, the shortest little bullet that I got, shortest case that I got, and the smallest bullet that I own is 22. So we're going to start this and right here in the jail block. I'm going to back up. Hell, I don't know about a foot. I don't normally shoot jail. This is my first time. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm hoping this one jail is enough to stop these bullets. Like I said, I don't never shoot jail. So we're going to try. Hopefully we can get at least 12 inches of penetration. They holler you need at least 12 inches of penetration to get uh, be lethal by the FBI. So we're going to see. Let's get into this video. Yeah. All right. 22 short. Here we go. I'm going to try and shoot it kind of low on this and that way we can space them out a little bit. All right. Oh, man, that was a good shot. Look at there. All right, here, let me get you up here closer so you can see. Can you see that? Can you see where it penetrated it in? Not bad for the 22 short. I'd say we're about 10 inches in. 10 inches in. You can see it right there, hopefully. Not bad. Not bad for the 22 short. I'm actually kind of impressed. All right, next, we're going to do the 22 long rifle out of the little clerks. Let me get her loaded up. Load this one. You pull that little pin out, roll the cylinder out that way, then you load her up. Let's get her loaded. All right, let's set up the clerks. Let's see what it does. Here we go, I'm gonna aim about dead center of it. Woo, look at there. Oh man, we got good expansion. Look at that expansion coming out of that 22 long rifle. Man, that thing about made me go deaf. And look at the bullet in there. Can you see it from the top? Let me turn y'all around. Look at there. You can see where it come in. Look at where it exploded right there. And there's our bullet. It didn't even go as far as the 22 short did. All right. All right, I think I, I think this is where I had y'all. Take a look at here. Seven inches, 10 inches. So we got more penetration out of the 22 short coming out of that short barrel than we did out of the 22 long rifle. Yeah, we had more damage right there. You can see the wound cavity right there is massive compared to the 22 short just zipped right through there. But it only went in about seven inches. Now, let's see what the 25 does coming out of one of these short barrels. Hang on, before I continue with the video, I don't know if you can see this, but can you see all those black specks all over the front of this jail? That's the unburnt powder out of that revolver. This sprayed on there like that. At 22 short didn't do that. They come out that revolver. Pretty interesting. Let's get on with the video. All right, I believe I got y'all set up in the right spot. Next will be the 25. 
This is the most debated caliber right here because I always hear that the 22 long rifle will go further and do more damage than the uh, 25. Now, this is a full metal jacket. This is a 50 grain bullet, it's supposed to be moving at about 750 foot per second. Let's see if this full metal jacket has more penetration. I doubt it's gonna be as devastating as the 22, but I believe it's gonna go further. All right, I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna try and go kind of right beside the 22 long rifle in the solid gel. Here we go, the 25. All right, let's look at her. Well, it looks like I kind of zipped right through the 22s right there and came on up. Can you see? Let's get closer to it. There we go. Now, I took some brown shop towels. I don't know why I ain't did that before and set these brown shop towels up behind it. Now you can kind of see it a little bit better. So let's take a look at what happened. We got the 22 short. They come in about 10 inches. There it is right there. Not really... If the bullet kind of stayed together, it didn't spread or shatter, zipped right in. The 22 long rifle came in the least deepest. It come in at seven inches, but it had the most massive wound cavity out of both of them. Now coming into our third round, the 25 zipped on in. And as you can see right here, it's about dead even with that 22 short, maybe just a few little millimeters further, but they're just about the same. That bullet, of course, did not expand because it's a full metal jacket, but you can see them both right there. Pretty interesting and exactly what I thought was going to happen. Hopefully this was a good demonstration right here to show the penetration of the, all three of these rounds. Now, let's see what they do when we're shooting them in wood. Let's get into it. All right, here's what we got for our wood set up. I got the 22 short, 25, and a 22 LR. We got two 2x6s two screwed together and a 5 quarter decking board back yonder. It's treated. We're going to shoot all three of them into these wood blocks, and we're going to see what the penetration looks like in these blocks. Let me get y'all kind of halfway straight here. Let me get y'all about right in there. Yeah, that's pretty straight. All right, first gun we're gonna be using is the Astra Cub 22 short. All right, here we go. Next on the list, 22 LR. Last but not least, the 25. All right. Good shooting, of course, none of these penetrated. When I get back up yonder, I'll unscrew it and we'll see what they look like. Let's move on to the next test. Now, on to this part of the video. I've had a lot of folks tell me on, on these videos and stuff that if you shoot somebody from a far distance that 25 and those 22s ain't gonna do nothing to them. My brother actually told me a story about a guy getting shot in a club and with a 25 all the way across the whole room and it got lodged in his forehead, didn't even go in it. So what I wanna know is if you back up far enough, are these bullets still flying straight or are they tumbling? That's what this video is for. Let's get into it. All right, that right there. As our smooth shot out of our 22 short. There's our smooth hole out of our 22 long rifle. And there's our smooth hole out of our 25. Now I'm going to back up and I'm trying to hit these in the same spots. All right. I was shooting from right here where I was shooting from. So let's take our steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I was shooting from 21 foot. So there's our first hole up close, about 10 foot away. There's our shot from 21 foot away. Still a smooth hole. Here was our first 22 long rifle shot. Smooth hole. Here was our second 22 long rifle shot. Not a very good pattern. There's probably a foot difference in them two shots, but it's still smooth. It didn't go in there flipping. Surprisingly, both the little semi-autos had a tight group. There's 22 short. There's 22 long rifle. 
and there's the 25. Uh, I don't know about this one right here. It don't really look like a smooth hole. I think this one was keyholing. But the first shot from 10 foot away, smooth hole. But I don't know about the 25. Now, with all this being said, all this gel block we shot up today, you can see them. I hope this was a great demonstration for y'all to see the penetration power out of those three calibers when they're coming out of the same barrel links. When they're all coming out of the same barrel links, it makes a major difference. If I was to shoot this gel with that rifle over yonder, it'd blow right through here. Make a nasty wound channel just like that and it'd probably zip right through it because it's got so much more velocity to it. All right, YouTube. I'm back at the house. I got this little board right here. Remember we shot them. So now we're going to take them apart and we're going to see exactly what our rounds did. All right. Now, let's see here. First board. Oh, look at there. We caught it. Which one was that? The 25. So we caught the 25. Look at it right there, Papa. Made it into the first board, but got stopped by the second in right there. So let's see, the 22 short, it didn't even make it through at all. And it looks like the 22 LR didn't make it through neither. So it's still in the board. So the only one that almost made it through was the 25. And it got hung up right there. Had that board not have been there, it would have zipped right through this one. Pretty interesting, man. I, I thought these were going to go in there further than what they did. But that just goes to show you that full metal jacket on that 25, that being a heavier bullet and a little bit bigger, slugged right in there. Man, that is pretty cool right there. I like that, Papa. I'll tell you what, I, got, I might get this mounted. I might mount this little block of wood right here. What should I write on this block of wood to get it mounted? Y'all let me know down in the comments. All right, YouTube, I'm finna get out of here, man. Here's another look at the ballistics gel. You can see where that big expansion is out of that 22 LR. Like I said, it only went in there about seven inches. The 22 uh, short right yonder kind of expanded at the very end. I'm gonna try and cut these out and let y'all look at them at the very end. And there's the 25 that punched through solid, stay solid just like it did in yonder with that piece of wood. And that right there is the full metal jacket round out of the 25. That's a quick look at each one of them in the jail. That's what they look like. Got more videos like this coming soon. I think I'm gonna keep this block before I melt it down. I think I'm gonna shoot it with a little bit longer barrel. I'm gonna keep stepping up with the 22 long rifle and we'll see how much expansion and how long it takes before we can zip through this jail block. Be stay tuned for my shorts because I'll probably do them in shorts videos. Thank you to all my subs, all my friends, all my family, and all my channel members, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Catch y'all on the next one. We out of here. Yee yee!